This is Aruba AP105. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to put the OpenWRT on this AP device with only the Unink NT. On the back, there is a console and the PoE Ethernet port. And uh, some other videos ask you to use the cable, console cable to put it on it. Um, since most people don't have this kind of cable and have only been able to use this clip to program the OpenWRT make it a lot easier. First, you need to take out the four screws. Then this can be easily take out. and remove the board. Actually, you do not need to remove the board. We just need to take off this metal. And the flash is this one. This flash is a 16 megabyte uh, SPI flash. So we have the Unink NT connected clip with the wires and I use some tape to tape on it. So we can clip on like so. This, this pin, uh, pin 2 is, is power. So once we can detect, we know the flash is right, and I'm selecting a Meraki 16 SPI. So the information to find uh, on the line is say open WRT AP105, and you can find this page. So in here, you need to download the U-boot, which you, you can download from here as well as I'm directly download this stable uh, version, which is go here and we say stable release build. Here is, I use the 21023 and targets on the 3079 and a generic, you will see the AP105 init RAMFS kernel bin. I do not use the sys upgrade because sys upgrade you need to have a TFT TP server. I'm directly download the init RAMFS here. In order to program the AP105, uh, we look at this information online and create an XML for it. So go here, say new target XML, and I'm this is a router, so I'm going to select router here. And this has a 16 megabyte SPI flash. I'm going to copy from Meraki 16 API, uh, SPI. Then I call AP105 and I can clear here. So the, the whole size is 16 and I'm going to rename it to U-boot. And the U-boot size is four hex four zero zero zero. So I'm going to give it size say four four. The second is we call kernel. And let me check the size. Then I need to split this one to be an FS. Uh, so kernel only have the size of 4D, 1, 2, 3, 4. The rest is FS, uh, call FS in the file system, which we will erase it. And the last one is the uh, AD0000. 
hw-info. And select. Now I can config, go to AP, and 105 is available here. So now we see AP 105. First sector is U-boot, which we need to program from this website. And this is the U-boot. The second kernel is the kernel we download from the stable version. The first third one is entire sector needs to be erased. Once we erase everything, we leave the hardware info to be there so that we can keep the MAC address and all the other information in here. So let's select my uh, select the folder. I have selected this folder. In this folder, I already have the OpenWRT in the RAMFS uh, downloaded, as well as the U-boot. So now I'm going to try to detect, and I have the flash. First thing we need to back up the entire flash. In case anything goes wrong, we can always restore it to the original state. So detect and select the whole flash. Then we can read. So here is the MAC address and everything is in here. So now let's save it. Save is called it backup. Now second thing to do is now we can put everything to initial state. We need to program the U-boot. So we select the U-boot. And then we say write a U-boot. And the third is we program the kernel. Instead of using the TFTP method, we use this method directly. We program the kernel. Now we need to erase everything of the FS area. So the original uh, file system has been wiped out. Finished. Okay, we have finished programming. Now we can remove it and we are mostly done. So we can put this back together and then put the case on. Okay, and put the screwdriver back. Um, we, can, we can put the screw back later. So I'm using the PoE to power this on. So let's plug it in. 
and you can see the LED is blinking. I'm not sure, yeah, you can see the LED. In the meantime, I'm going to monitor the IP address. Uh, by the way, the first time boot up will take a very, very long time uh, because it needs to reformat the file system. So in here we can keep monitoring if the IP address is back. 192, 192 and 168.1.1. I don't think it's ready yet. Okay, we get IP address. Probably need to reboot. Okay, we got stable IP address. Now let's go to the web and here we enter the IP address 192.168.1.1. We have Lucy and we have the OpenWRT UI in there. And the address, uh, the version is 21.02.3. And the MAC address, we can go to the network interfaces and this is the original mac address so we the, pr the programming of open wrt process is much much simpler just using the one method program both the u boot and the, the kernel to it just what be patient and wait a few you know two or three minutes the open wrt is just programmed it is that easy